The Patriot by Robert Browning. The Patriot is a dramatic monologue by Robert Browning, who is well known for his dramatic monologues. He is widely celebrated as the foremost poets of the Victorian era. The poet presents a single speaker, hence a dramatic monologue. The speaker is a patriot who talks about the change of his fortune within a single year. Browning talks about politics, patriotism, faith, hope and presents the harsh reality of life. The speaker narrates his tale as he is being taken to the scaffold to be executed publicly for his deeds which are now taken as misdeeds by the masses. The speaker, the patriot, recollects how he was once loved and revered by his people and now the same people despised him because they feel that he has done something wrong. The, poet is a, the poem is a perfect example of the theme Rise and Fall. It was roses, roses all the way, with myrtle mixed in my path like mad. The house roof seemed to heave and sway. The church spires flamed such flags they had a year ago on this very day. As the poem begins, the speaker recalls a situation on the very day just one year ago. He recalls how warmly he was welcomed by his countrymen. People had crazily decorated his path with roses and myrtles to welcome him. They had also gathered on the rooftops to have his glimpse. They cheered him as he passed by. The spires on the church were covered with flags as a mark of respect for the patriot. People were overwhelmingly delighted to greet their hero. They were enthusiastic to see him as he passed by. The air broke into a mist with bells. The old walls rocked with the crowd and cries. Had I said good folk, mere noise ripples, give me, but give me your son from yonder skies. They had answered and afterward what else? On that particular day, the air was full with cheerful sounds of bells. Thousands of people had crowded, had gathered against the old walls of the houses to just have a look at this patriot. They cheered and cried out for their hero. The patriot says, at that moment, the situation was such that even if he had asked for sun, if he had asked them to get the sun for him, they would have willingly done that. And they wouldn't stop there but ask him what else he wanted. But the situation changed after a year. The Patriot says it is he who leaped to get the sun, to risk to get the sun, not for his personal gains but for the happiness of his people. He has done something which no man could have done. It was a selfless service for his people. But what did he gain? The harvest he reaps is full of scorn, ungratefulness and rejection. It is on the same day, a year after, he reaps the painful harvest. There is nobody on the house stops now. Just a palsied few at the windows set for the best of the sight is all allowed at the shambles gate or better yet, by the very scaffold's foot I throw. The patriot says, now there is nobody on the rooftop to welcome him. Of course, there are few people sitting by the window side not to welcome him or not to have his glance at not to have a glance at him, not to catch his glimpse, but because they are unable to move from there, they are diseased, they are sick, and that is why they are there at the window side. And as such, there is nobody for the patriot. The patriot says that he's sure that they are at the shambles gate. To happily watch him being executed. He says maybe some people would even be by the scaffold to have a closer view of his execution. I go in the rain and more than needs a rope cut. A rope cuts both my wrists behind. And I think by the feel my forehead bleeds for the fling whoever has a mind. Stones at me for my year's misdeeds. His hands are tied as he is being led to the scaffold 
as he is walking towards the scaffold it is raining his hands are tied behind by a tight rope it's so tight that it cuts his wrist and it's bleeding profusely he f- he even feels that his forehead is bleeding because the people are throwing stones at him and the stones are hitting him all over his body in a year's time the same people have changed now they feel that he is some criminal who has committed some offense and hence they the now the petals of rose and myrtles they are all replaced by stone cheers of joy replaced by hatred still the patriot doesn't seem to be angry with the people he doesn't blame the people because he feels that they have misunderstood him thus i entered and thus i go in triumphs people have dropped down dead paid by the world what does thou owe me god might question now instead it's god shall repay i am safer so so the last stanza of the poem reflects the patriot's life and death it reflects the human philosophy it highlights the fact that people are valued only when they have power thus i entered and thus i go the patriot's entry in a pompous manner and his exit from life in a disastrous way reflects the irony of life still the patriot says that he is triumphant though the people have dropped him dead he is triumphant he doesn't have any feeling of remorse because he says that what he has done for his people is right he without any selfish motives he has worked for his people selflessly his conscience is clear so he feels that now that he is going to meet god the almighty would definitely ask him when the world had already paid for his deeds what is he expecting from him that is from god so he says that he only wants to be safe under god because it is only god alone knows that he is right so the patriot is sure that god would definitely repay him for his deeds and he would thus be safe under the lord thank you